piece of software or even a, a software capability. And both can be very successful, but, but you really need different kinds of partnerships. So that gets into a longer conversation. 对他刚刚讲说你这个人脸识别人脸识别的这个东西如果要你要把这个产品拿回来跟美国合作的话会非常困难啊比较比较难因为他自己也也也投过这个声音识别这种啊那你在产品上面的话他如果只是一个技术他
destinations for marketing capital, partnership development, and so forth. So it's really more about the network than the money. 那你刚讲到说你在资本方面，海外资本呢，他觉得是有必要的，因为你但你在海外海外资本这块呢，你其实要的不是钱，你最要找最要紧的是你找的是投资人他的关系，他跟你对接到就是正确的这个可能可可以可能的合作伙伴和他呢在这个领域里面的经验来帮助你，这个呢对你来说呢可能是。更加重要的，所以在这个意义上来讲的话，你需要的一个海外的这个投资对象呢，最主要不是说钱，而是他能够给你带来钱以外的更多的有价值的东西。那我来问他一下，他愿不愿意投给你哈 ？So Peter, so like a startup company like this, would you consider to be an investor for them? Well, I'm always looking for deals. <laughs> <laughs> 他说他挺愿意的，说的好，好吧，好。Yeah, one thing I want to add to that about about. Both the the capital side,、uh, as well as the the technology partner side, is there is sometimes an intersection of the two. I mean, it's not out of the question that a technology partner that turns out to need your innovation and need your technology, and they're not there to compete, could then become your source of capital. That's especially true for some of the larger research-oriented materials companies, like an Applied Materials or a Corning or or a United Technologies, where you know what they do. Yes, they have huge research facilities, and 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 you have to be very careful that you're not、uh, putting your intellectual property at risk, but. If you find a partner that you can trust and that then that and that has a need, then they may solve your capital issues, you know, with with just the the, the flick of a pen. He said, "Actually, he wants to add that you, even if you find such a big company, like the Applied Materials such a big company, it's possible that he will become your investor because he will spend a lot of money to do this research. If he finds that you have something that is relevant to his research, then he will be able to use it." 那么这个时候呢，他就可以投钱给你，成为你的投资人，而且呢，他也解决了你的市场问题。这种呢是其实是最理想的一个做法，因为对他来讲的话，他投资你就好像这个饼子这样子在锅里翻一下，也这么容易啊，翻个饼这么容易。如果说你找到这样的话呢，但是在这个地方你一定要知道，就是你要怎么去保护你的知识产权，因为这个很重要，因为他可能一下拿去你的知识、你的知识产权，然后把你最核心的东西拿去了，但是。给的价钱呢，并没有说完全反映出你过去的这些努力，所以这个时候呢，你就要去找到一个值得信赖的合作伙伴，然后把这些东西都谈好了以后呢，这个是一个非常理理想的解决方案。One one very one last comment about that is that I think all of you may be noticing that in a, in a lot of the answers to these questions, at least in my opinion, the the element of what needs to be developed. In bringing products, services, technologies, innovations overseas in either direction, is not really about the product or the technology. It's about the development of a trust-based relationship where you can actually grow and expand your business opportunity in whatever direction it's going. I mean, that's the part that you don't want to get wrong. Everything else can be, you know, you can back up and start over, or you can pivot, but You don't want to make the mistake of of just going with a relationship without feeling a very strong sense of trust. He said, "Again, let me tell you about it. Actually, you say that the product and the service are very easy. The product and the service go out are very easy. If you make a mistake, you can come back and start again. But the mistake is the most annoying part. Because you actually need to find a trustworthy person who can trust you and who can trust your product and your service. Who can trust your product and your service." 这样的人你找对了以后呢，你下面这些再去做的时候就会变得比较容易了。只是时间的问题。但是如果是说你要认错了，那你你东西你你可能这些努力都白费了。对，好，对，好。呃，谢谢 Peter 的精彩的分享。呃，我是我是三米，我。从事科技服务已经是八年，服务的科技企业有超过好几百家。那我现在呢，就是在服务过程当中，特别是这些呃这些企业企业家们，他们面临的最大的难点或痛点，也就是一个资金方面的一个问题。那现在我就是综合几个
呃几个关键的点向向您请教。第一个就是怎样去指导这呃企业家对自己产品的一个一个商业价值，让他们能够正确的认识到，这是第一点。第二点就是这个股权怎样科学合理的去设置，他们在融资过程当中，还有第三个就是他这个融资的时候，这个怎样对自己的自己的团队或者是自己的公司产品有一个一个估值，呃，这个融资策略是怎样的？谢谢。Hi Peter, uh, thank you for sharing. My name is Sunny. Uh, I have been serving high-tech companies for eight years, and I have served more than a hundred high-tech companies. And many of the high-tech companies have uh, their pain points, mainly in uh, capital. So I would like to raise uh, three questions concerning capital. First, how can we better help these high-tech companies to understand the value, the business value of their products? Second. How can they better decide on equity in the process of financing? And the third question is that during the financing process, how can the companies better understand the value of their products, their teams, and how should they better develop financing policies? Thank you. So those are really great questions, and and they're they're. <laughs> Three of the most important questions of all. Uh, it, uh, the, the first one, I think, is a question of how can, how can the inventors, the idea people, learn about and understand the nature and the, and, the, and, the, and the size of the markets that they're going to serve and how potentially changes to their to their inventions to their innovations can actually could actually uh, improve their market you know and and the thing is that actually flows right into the second question because your second question is really I, I, the way I hear it it's how do you how do you how do you value an investment how do you value a company that's got an idea or an innovation or even what they call an MVP, but has not market tested it. And the answer is, number one, it's very hard to, do, to, to come up with a valuation. And the only real way around that is to set up a series of funding milestones that let you get incrementally closer to proof of marketability. So that you, because you can only establish a valuation when you've established marketability. I mean, the greatest idea in the world is worth nothing without, you know, without proof that, that a market will be there and can be sustained and grown. Uh, and, and lastly, the third, the, the third element, well, actually, I will do that last because that's a little, uh, it, it's, it's shorter, but it's also related. 就是他刚刚讲到的，就是这你刚刚问的这个问题啊，正好是创业里面的三个呢最最重要的，而最需要解决的三个问题啊。首先，他第一个问题就是说呢，你这个商业模式，那么商业模式你有一个想法的时候，这种想法呢，其实很多人都有，但一个商业模式如果没有真正体现市场价值的时候呢，这个商业模式可能是不值钱的，可能是很难去。让人家去认同你的价值的，那么这个问题也牵涉到第二个问题，你怎么评估一个企业的价值呢？这企业的价值呢，就是你要去了解市场了以后呢，你要建立一个又一个的里程碑，那么用这些里程碑呢，来证明你实现了什么样的价值。你可能要把它设计好了，就是说我到了哪一步，建立了什么样的一个里程碑，那么这个里程碑它代表了什么价值？那下一步又一个里程碑代表什么样的价值？所以你要去把它一个一个的里程碑呢，来。告诉大家，就是说，告诉投资人或者告诉你的合作伙伴，这个企业的价值现在是到了什么样的程度？用这个里程碑来来设置的，因为商业模式来讲的话，就是必须要市场来证明。如果市场没有证明你的价值的话，你的这个想法它仅是个想法，只是一个模式而已。Yeah, and I think the third the third part of that, the third question, if you will, around what benchmarks. We might establish for how to assess entrepreneurs, how to assess ideas, how to assess business opportunities. I mean, that 
the, the, you know, there's a, a much longer answer than we have time for here around all the different aspects of that and how you go about proving it. But the very short answer um, actually goes to uh, something that's near and dear to my heart because it's actually how I named my, my venture company. And it's, it's basically the five acts of, of a well-told story for a startup. Um, and those five acts are the vision, the market, the team, the strategy, and the deal. The vision being, you know, the, what the product is, what the offering is. Number two is a very clear and very detailed understanding of the market, not just that there are, you know, three billion internet users, but, you know, how many thousands or millions of those will actually, are actually likely to adopt this innovation and Three is the team, who are these people, and are they the right ones to bring this product out and make it successful? The fourth is the strategy. Is there a business model that can be sustainable and profitable uh, and, and scalable? And lastly, is the investment opportunity, the, you know, the capital versus the equity at whatever valuation, something that's appealing to the investors? If you can get all five of those stories, or if you will, those five acts in the play right, then you have you have a hit on your hands. He just said that you have five elements to measure. One is your vision. You have what kind of vision? How do you want to grow? How do you want to grow? How do you want to grow? The second is your market. But in the market, you can't say that there are all kinds of millions 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 of millions. 你会必须要对市场有一个清晰了解，以后把它能够说出说，哪些人会愿意为什么原因为你来付钱？你要把这个东西搞清楚。再下来呢，就是你的团队。这团队说不是说你这些人多牛多大咖，从什么什么地方来的？你要说这些团队为什么他们有这能力把这个东西卖到市场上去，能够去创造价值啊？这个是你你必须要去有这样的一个团队。另外就是你的这个策略。策略呢，也就是一个商业模式，但这个商业模式并不是说我想象说这个东西可以怎么卖，而是呢，就是这个模式它一定是可持续发展的，它是真正能够给你带来利润的这样的一个模式。其次呢，就是说你已经有了这个客户，已经已经现已经达成了一些买卖。那么这这五个东西呢，你要你要把它都回答了以后呢，这些东西呢，你才能够去说哦，我从这儿来判断我的公司到底有什么价值。好的，谢谢 Diana， 也谢谢 Peter。Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Diana. 那么，因为我们时间的关系啊，啊、呃，我们今天的这个横琴硅谷创新论坛呢，啊、呃，在此就要结束了。再次感谢大家的参与和关注，我们下一期活动再见。那么，也有请我们几位这个嘉宾和我们台下的观众一起跟 Diana 和 Peter 说一声再见。谢谢吴老师，谢谢谢谢王总，谢谢李总，也谢谢罗总。呃、uh, ，So we are coming to the end right now, and、uh, we had a very good、uh, conversation dialogue. I think that those kind of questions can go on and on,、yeah. but I hope that in the future maybe we can invite you to Hengqin and to Macau to meet with them. 我刚跟 Peter 说呢，我说这种问题可能会很多啊，我们要一直问，会一直下去的。那以他多年的经验，尤其在科技界。做从大公司出来创业，创业成功以后投资，我觉得这些非常宝贵。希望有一天呢，我能够把 Peter 请到横琴，也请到澳门去，然后跟那边的创业者呢，能够去面对面的去交流，然后呢，也同时把这个关系建立起来。因为在他的这个身后，在我们这边呢，有很多的这些的，就是人脉和资源。我们也希望把这些资源呢，怎么样去跟澳门去跟横琴去对接，然后让我们大家在创业路上呢，一起来成功。嗯，再次谢谢呃横琴的朋友们，也谢谢 Monica， 我正好看到镜头里有 Monica 哈，然后也谢谢那个百军，谢谢李书记，谢谢吴老师，也谢谢我们今天的三位嘉宾王总、李总和罗总，也谢谢丁丁团队的今天的呃工作人员，也特别在谢再次谢谢我们的那个翻译啊，就是 Gordon， 嗯、呃，这也是我们硅谷的著名的企业家，我们团队呢有 Sandy， 有 Julia， 有柠檬。我们也在这里一起呢，来，大家来上来跟很近的朋友来告别，好吧？谢谢大家，我们下次再见，谢谢。Yes. And, and thank you.